What is up, YouTube? Still or sideline? We're back with another TTM Thursday. Back to part three of how the TTM. We are going to send out a trading card to get signed. So this will show you how to send out the trading card. If you missed any of the past videos, I'll try to remember to link them in the comment in the uh, description box below. Um, part one, we found the player's address. I showed you where to find the player's address. Part two, I showed you how to write the letter and now we're going to put all this stuff together and we're going to send the letter out and today we're going to show you how to do that so if you want to come along and do this with me you're going to need a few things with you uh so you can pause this video grab it if you want to do it as we go along you will need obviously the trading card you want to send out or cards uh, I usually do three if I do them at a time, but we're just going to do one for today just to show you the idea. You're going to need your letter that you already wrote. So you're going to need your card. You're going to need your letter. You're going to need two stamps. I use forever stamps. Uh, I suggest using forever stamps because you don't know when it might come back. And you're going to need two envelopes. Preferably, you're going to need a small envelope. For the player to put the card back in and send it back to you i use this one and you're going to need a bigger envelope uh to put that one in. It makes it nice and easy for you i suggest using these for the player and this has a little adhesive tape on it and that way it's just easy they don't have to lick it and stamp it you don't have to worry about it. they just rip the strip off seal it you're good to go so uh so let's get into it uh first you're going to take your big envelope that you got your standard size envelope and you're gonna put your address on your side I mean this is basic I know I know not everybody needs to know this but I'm just gonna put it out there so there's no questions needed you're gonna you're gonna put your address here your return address you're gonna put the players address in the big part we're gonna take one of our stamps and we're gonna place it on the big envelope so you're done with that you got the player's address you just put that off to the side excuse me I bought the I brought the card there you're just gonna put that off to the side and that's what you need to do right there so you're gonna take the other envelope that has your your address in the center and you're gonna and you can put yours as the return address but you really don't need one on these I don't usually put it uh, I don't ever write the player's address. A lot of people do the write the player's address. And if I would, I would just put their initials. I wouldn't put their full name. I would just put their initials on the corner. But we're going to place a stamp on that return envelope. And then we're ready to rock and roll. Now, here's something I do want to get into. I'm dropping everything. You see how I have this card in a protective sleeve? A lot of your cards might be in protective sleeves, sleeves, or you know your hard, uh, your hard cases, your your uh, your card cases, um, hard plastics. Uh, you're gonna want to remove that. Uh, some people leave them in there and they come out fine, but I've seen way too many times where they'll leave this, they'll send it like this. And the player will just sign the plastic sleeve and send it back and it will never take the card out. So you want to make this as easy for the player as possible because you don't know how much time he or she may take to sign your item. So I know that the card can get damaged nine times out of ten. It usually doesn't. If not, it might you might get some soft corners. But uh, if you want the card signed on the card, your best bet is to take it out of the sleeve. So we're going to take the card out of that sleeve. Put the sleeve up. So you're going to take your card. And then you're going to take your letter. So we got the letter and the card. I, I put my card in the letter. And I can get rid of these stamps now. So this is your little, uh, your, 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 your uh, return thing. I take the card and the letter. And I put that, and I tuck that right behind here. And then I take that. And then I just place it. Uh oh, Juju fell. And I just place that right here. See? So you already make sure this is a key thing. Make sure you have that stamp on the return. You can't make them pay the postage because they'll just throw it away. Or they might send it out without a stamp on it and you might not ever get it. So 
Make sure you put the stamp on there. It's the key part of this. Your address stamp, you got your letter, your card, everything's tucked in nice and neat. And then you place that inside the big envelope. Now you got your big envelope, has the stamp, the player's address, your address, your return address, and you're good to go. This is how you send out uh, you know, your TTM for a football card, baseball card, basketball, whatever card you got, this works fine. This is how we send cards. If you want to use a bigger sheet of paper, you can fold it three times, put your card in the middle. It works just as fine as well. Some people send index cards and the player might sign that as well. You can protect your card with two index cards. You know, put this in between two index cards. Works the same. Whatever trick you like, you do it yourself. Uh, either way, it protects the card. I'm not, you know, that if the, if the player signs an index card, that's an added bonus. If he doesn't sign them, it protects your cards if he sends them back. If he keeps the index cards and throws them away, you didn't lose much. You get a pack of index cards pretty cheap at Walmart. But that's all I want to tell you for this one. And that, I'm not going to make this a really, really long video because you have the other three, you have the other two videos to go along with this. So that's why I kind of wanted to break it down. So if anybody wanted to just look at one section, they don't have to go through a big, long video. And it, it tells them each section. So this is section three, how to send out a trading card via TTM through the mail. I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's anything else you'd like to see, let, make sure you drop that in the comment section below. I will try to do more and more of these. Uh, like I said, we'll do an eight by 10. We'll do a mini helmet. I got a mini helmet I wanna send out. We'll do some other things that are gonna be fun just to see how we do them. And then you get to see them come back. But this is how we're gonna do this one. Uh, how to send a trading card. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, uh, uh, if I missed anything, drop it in the comment section below. I'll try to answer any questions that you have. And as always, make sure you have a great day, Stiller Nation. Thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscription button. Uh, please drop a like. Please comment. Uh, I love to, I love to hear from you, and I love to get back to everybody that comments. I don't know. I don't always get back the same day. Sometimes it takes me a day or two to get back. Uh, usually when I upload the next video, I try to get back to everybody on the previous video while I'm on there uploading the video. <clears throat> so I will get back to you as much as I can. And as always, have a great one, Stiller Nation. Thanks.